So it's five years ago that the first colonic SILS was carried out by Remsey at the Cleveland Clinic with good uh, early outcomes. And a year later, the first case series came out of Australia, seven right hemicolectomies, again with good initial results. And since then, there's been a plethora of studies in the literature looking at colonic SILS, and they were summarised in this systematic review last year. It looked at over 500 patients who'd undergone a colonic SILS resection and concluded that it was appropriate uh, in highly selected patients, but by an experienced laparoscopic surgeon. And they did call for a randomised controlled trial to further evaluate these clin clinical outcomes. But there's been a paucity of data, really, uh, in the literature on rectal SILS, this is Tony Dixon, who's the surgeon in Bristol, who's leading uh, the innovation in our hospital in, in the UK, um, performing over 200 colorectal SILS procedures. And we've published our good uh, initial results and short-term outcomes, including papers on panproctocolectomy and pouches performed by SILS technique. So rectal cancer SILS, since April 2009, we've performed TMEs and high anterior sections for rectal cancer. We admit patients on the day of surgery and manage them within an enhanced recovery programme, so carbohydrate drinks, avoidance of opiates. We've performed SILs on 57 patients with rectal cancer, 34 anterior sections, 21 TMEs and 2 TMEs and colloanal uh, anastomoses. And just to point out on the patient demographics, we operate on people with up to a BMI of 44, so these aren't all slim patients. The results, operative time medium of 98 minutes, um, and after a relatively low intraoperative fentanyl dose of 282 uh, mean, um, all patients but one were managed postoperatively with just IV paracetamol, uh, tap blocks or uh, intraperitoneal local anaesthetic, and um, occasional doses of oromorph. Only one patient required IM uh, or IV morphine. Mean time to diet was 11 hours, and the median length of stay was two days. 95% of procedures were performed with SILs. There were three conversions, two to laparoscopy and one to open variety of uh, tumour stages, but these aren't, were, weren't all uh, necessarily small early tumours. The majority were T3 and Duke stage B. With any novel technique, it's obviously imperative not to compromise oncological outcome. And the median number of lymph nodes in our specimens was 17, which is well uh, within the UK guidelines. Other oncological or, or pathological outcomes there, and importantly, all patients had R0 resection margins. There were some uh, complications which were managed conservatively and um, a readmission rate of 5% which we thought was quite promising given a length of stay of only two days. Two of the patients with complications, the abscess and the UTI, um, were two of the readmissions and the third readmission was a patient with small bowel obstruction.